Hello there, welcome to the WebEx online course on front-end web development. So by this time, you should have the homepage about section, experience section, portfolio and contact. So you want to fix a few things, which the first thing is the navigation bar. You see when we click, there's nothing happens. So let's fix this first. Head to your HTML code and inside the navigation here, let's do the href home and this will be about experience and then portfolio and also contact. So if you recall the hash signs means that we want to find the ID with home. For example, this one. So we need to find the element with ID of home. So it is basically here, ID of home. So the other one is ID of about. So ID of about should be, okay, so this is ID of about instead of home. And so on and so forth. Let's save it and check it out here in your browser. So when I click on about, it jumps to about, experience, portfolio, contact, and so on. So the next thing that we want to solve is when I click on about section, you can see that the bottom border does not move to the about. So we want to fix this, right? We can fix this by going to our JavaScript file and underneath here. Let's declare a constant. So we want to target the navigation bar and the navigation bar is just document document dot query selector query selector dot navbar item navbar item right the next thing we want to declare is our nav list so our navigation list is in the navigation navigate nav so just navigation bar we want to perform query selector all we want to select selector it's not selected so select all we want to select all the our tags so after we select all the our tags we can have the total nav list the total nav list is equals to nav list dot length afterwards we want to find all sections so all section is equals to document dot query selector all query selector all we want to select all the section with a class of section and the total section is equals to all section dot length semicolon so next let's do follow what we need to do is when an item is clicked when an item is clicked, we want to clear all these active class and then we move the active class to the section that is click. So how do we do that? So just use a for loop. Let i equals to zero semicolon when i is less than the total nucleus and colon again i plus plus. So i plus plus basically means increment by one so let's find the a tag so a tag is in the nav list i for each nav list we will do query selector and what we want to select is the a tag so for the all the a tags we want to add event listener so the event listener should listen to the event of so when the a text in here is click, what will happen? So we need to declare what will happen. Let's declare the function uh, bracket and also clip braces. And we need to clear all the active class. So let j equals to zero when j is less than the total nav list. When j is less than total nav list, j will increment and then nav list, nav list of j for each nav list, we do query selector. We want to select the a tags and we want to show the all the class list. So what is the class there? Uh, we want to remove all the active class. 
So any A we have class of active, we want to remove it and then this dot class, so this is the class which is click at active. So try to save it and head to your browser. When you click on about, you should see the bottom bottle move to the corresponding section in the navigation bar. So another problem is when we scroll down or up, you can see that this bottom water, the bottom bottom does not move accordingly, accordingly. So we need to solve this problem as well. And uh, we will just do it under this section. Okay. So we need to do windows dot window dot add event listener. So this event listener will listen to the scroll event. And what we can do is okay, let's declare the function first. So the function should we can declare the function in this way. Enter. Then let's declare let from top is equals to the window dot scroll y. And then we need to have the Netflix A tag. So Netflix anchor tag is basically equals to the nav dot query selector all we want to select all the a tags so nav list and contact we can do for each link equals and here so we want to declare a section section should be equals to document document.query selector link.hash so by this way we can get all the section so how do we know that whether the section is in the screen or not we can do by if section.offset top offset top is less than or equals to from top and also double and percent and section dot offset top plus the section dot offset height is more than the from top then open curly braces link dot class list dot add active this is lowercase at active or else if we have an if this means that this the screen is the section is now in the screen so else if the section is not in the screen what we will do is link dot class list or remove remove the active class and we want to give semicolon here save it view it in our browser and now we scroll up and down you should see that this will change accordingly so one, uh, the next thing that we want to solve is this one. Normally in a website, they should, be, they should have an icon here. So that is what we call a favicon. So how do we solve a favicon is we go to our uh, index.html and at the head here, after the style sheet, we can have another link tag, link tag. But this time the relation is called an icon. So an icon, and we need to give a href here. So my href, I will use back the profile image, profile img.jpg. So close it, save it, and now you should be able to see there is a profile picture here. So this is what we call a favicon. You can change this one to according to your name. For example, your name, let's say Lanatan, you can put an L icon here, or just maybe design a logo for yourself. The next thing we want to solve is when we have we are using our mobile phone or tablets and now you can see that this thing is not functioning the burger button is not functioning so we need to solve the last thing so just go before the war equals to submit that this will be the last part that we want to target so if the window dot inner Inner width 
Okay, so the inner width is less than 1,200 1, pixels. What we will do is burger. We need to target the burger button. So document dot query selector, and we want to select the dot menu button. If you remember, the dot menu button is here. Okay. Then we can console dot log the burger. So we can see. So the console dot log is save it. You can go to this console and now you should be able to see yes, this is the menu button. Okay, this is the menu button. It's logged into the console. Go to the console so since it can target the menu button. So after we have logged the thing, we can use burger dot add event listener event listener. After we add event listener, so we should listen to a click event. When it is click, now as usual, declare the function. What we want it to do is dot, we want to nav dot class list. We want to toggle. We want to toggle the close. So what means by toggle? Toggle means that if the close is is there, then we want to remove this. If the close is not there, then we want to add this. So now you can see, go back here. When you press it, it should be able to toggle. If not, refresh it. Okay. Have we saved it? All right, we haven't saved this. So go back, refresh it. Now you should be able to toggle open and close. But when I click on experience, for example, it doesn't close, right? So let's go back to the JavaScript code. At this part, when it is click, we also want to add this dot class list. It's not this dot class list, sorry. Nav dot class list. We want to close it. Class list dot add a class of close. Save it again. Head back. Refresh. Now, when you click on this, you should be able to open a navigation bar. When you click on experience, then it should close. Click to home. Click about. And by doing this, our website is basically done and it is functional. So I hope you enjoy the whole tutorial. In the next section, we will try to move our website to the GitHub so that your website can be accessed through your phones and your tablets. So we'll see how do we host our website on GitHub in the very next video. So if you have any question, kindly drop your question in the comment section on YouTube or just drop your question in our WebEx Discord community and we'll try to help you. So thank you for watching.